Hey everybody. So, since some people complain about watermarks, um, even though Bandicam is really nice for me because it doesn't really have any f frame rate issues, it's almost lossless, and it's really light and easy to use, and the audio leveling on there is better at least than some other programs I've tried. Even though it's not ideal, I still might have to try to work more on equalizing in post. And uh, other than the fact that as a watermark, I really enjoy Bandicam. The screen selection it, process is nice, and it remembers and fi that fixed screen re uh, region, so I can just easily start and have to set it each time. And then. With editing, I was using ABS because it was free. It also le left a watermark. I know it was annoying, but um, it had some features I liked. But uh, I'm going to give it a, a try with using some stuff that won't have watermarks. So some people recommended MSI Afterburner, the video capturing feature that's within that. It primarily uses for overclocking, but you know, it functions as well for video capturing while you're, you know, while it's taking those stats. Uh, I tried it and it only seems to work if it's, it's, it only seemed to work really well with recognized EXEs for games like I ran Neverwinter and it recognized that no problem and it recorded no problem but when I was just running Chrome it didn't uh, really work and I guess I should try maybe see if I can open Flash projector by itself and see if I can start if it will work with that but with Chrome where I like to play it's not it didn't really recognize it so and I in the options in the video capture section of that at least without digging into the actual program files. The UI is very simple and it and doesn't give you many options. So I'll, I'll have to look into seeing if if something else doesn't work. Then I'm trying to fix MSI Afterburner. But another thing I downloaded was Cam Studio, and this seems to be you know more similar to Bandicam than Afterburner is. And I was able to select the screen region and. Uh, it works just fine. It does... I think I was experiencing a little bit of frame rate. I mean, I could feel the frame loss a little bit more. And the video, I'm not sure if it was a compression issue, but it also seemed like it was... it might be losing frames. Um, yeah, I'll just have to keep working on stuff see if there's something that'll work. The biggest problem with Camp Studio right now is the audio recording. And you know, I could I could record you know, audio with Bandicam and then the visuals with Camp Studio, which obviously would be worse cuz then you're running two at once and all those issues and then editing you have to, and I don't like editing my videos. I mean, honestly, I'd rather just upload on, you know, un unedited raw videos to you guys so that it's more, it feels more like a live stream or stream than me, you know, trying to impress you with a whole bunch of lens flare and, you know, jump cuts and only showing the best stuff. Because sometimes people want to just see the, day-to-day -day normal conversation, hear the conversations and and see people make mistakes and you know maybe something doesn't happen that's you know that crazy but it's sometimes it's just fun to see the, the everyday occurrences in the realm. But anyways, I still have some footage I need to upload and from the old using Bandicam and uh, I'll be trying to use a new free uh, watermarkless video editing software suite 
for you guys and see if that works out for me and if I can uh, get things looking a little bit better. I uh, I hope uh, the watermarks haven't been too bad. I haven't mined them too much. Usually it doesn't obscure anything too cru crucial and uh, to be honest it's I guess it's the trade-off when you want a free if you want free software they kind of self-promote with the watermark in exchange for using it for free which I understand I mean I appreciate that and maybe I could fork over the 40 bucks or whatever for Bandicam and then the real issue is more the video editing software that's usually a lot more expensive but I think if this free one it's I think it's Windows Movie Maker from the Essential Suite. This free one, if it works out, then that shouldn't be a problem. Maybe I will invest in getting the paid version of Bandicam so it doesn't have the watermark. Anyhow, I've been rambling. More videos to come. Uh, thanks everyone for your comments and and uh, just chatting with me. I appreciate it. It's fun. And I'll talk to you guys later.